Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live. Under Armour is celebrating Black History Month with a new collection for Baltimore in partnership with Baltimore native Devin Allen. So let's bring in Baltimore artist, community leader, and Under Armour photographer, Devin Allen. We also have our resident sneakerhead, Yahoo Finance's Reggie Wade, here with us now. So Devin, uh, can you tell us what this collection means to you as a Baltimore native, uh, really to have, a, in a way, an ode you know, to the city that has seen you know, so many uh, progress and great things, but also a lot of suffering? Um, yes, you know, being raised in Baltimore to have my own line, you know, highlighting the youth here in Baltimore to show the resilience in the youth and the grit of the city, but also just show that it's beauty and the struggle. And I really wanted to highlight the youth in this collection. So that's what we set out to do. And I want to ask you, and we were chatting about it in the break, what was it like to go from photographer to, you know, shoe designer? Um, it was fun. It was really interesting working with so many different type of creatives, you know, because I, I love fashion. I wear clothes. I'm so used to shooting people in clothes. But it was really good to work, you know, and see different creatives work in different spaces to get everything across the finish line and working with so many different components, you know, from picking materials to, you know, picking colors and you know, shooting and stuff. It was just really fun. Devin, Reggie Wade here. What does it mean to be involved with a brand like Baltimore who, like yourself, has its roots based in Baltimore? Um, it was, it's really big. You know, the relationship has been there since um, the passing of Freddie Gray, since the Baltimore uprising. That's how Under Armour found out about my work in, um, in Baltimore. And I've been working with them since 2015. So to work with a Baltimore brand this big um, in my community that allows me to give back to my community is really, really big. Um, it's a Baltimore brand and people in Baltimore love Under Armour. You know, you can see it on every corner, every street. Kids love it. The community always has on Under Armour. So it was really big and it means a lot to my community. You mentioned the kids. What effect do you want your work, not only with photography, but what you're doing in activism and with Under Armour? What effect do you want that to have on the youth of Baltimore? Um, I think it's um, the most important thing. I want the kids to see that you could pick a different route. You know, growing up in Baltimore is really easy to get caught up in the streets and things like that. I was in the streets myself and I always felt like I didn't have a voice. But Freddie Gray and Baltimore Outrising gave me a voice and I want to use that voice to up uplift the next generation and open up doors that and go places that we haven't gone. And I really want kids to know that you can, you know, shoot for the stars. And I just want to let them know that dreams do, you know, come true. And your situation doesn't dictate your future. You always have control over that. We know you're a great photographer, but is this going to open the door into more collaborations? Or are you going to turn into a designer? <laughs> Hopefully, you know, I want to move into other spaces. I want to be one of the greatest artists of my generation. And I definitely want to pull a Kanye and move into like the fashion world and into that space one day. So I think this is a good start, you know, for my future goals. So how well is the collection uh, performing right now, Devin? Um, that, I know it's doing good because I rarely have anything to wear of my own collection because everybody wants it. <laughs> and I've literally taken the shoes off my feet and given them to people, you know, because they love it so much. Um, just the response to the community, the kids, uh, it just feels really good to have, you know, being able to put Baltimore on my back. But just I've seen people in Quebec and other places in the world wearing it um, in Asia. So it's just really good to put my city and my community in a good space, in a good light for once. So, Devin, you know, you mentioned uh, Freddie Gray's death, and I, I think about that a lot lately because Freddie Gray's death kicked off a lot of protests similar to the ones that we saw, you know, after George Floyd uh, was murdered this past year. I'm wondering what kind of uh, expectations you have, not just of companies like Under Armour, but other companies, not even athletic companies, businesses, really to drive these conversations about diversity uh, in the cities where they operate? Yes, um, I think, uh, you know, partnering with Under Armour, you know, like I said, they found me because of my time cover. Um, and when I came in, I, I was very verbal about, you know, um, I want to stay in Baltimore. I want to work with the youth and I want to work here. And I but I'm still going to be on the ground. And they supported it, you know, and, um, and they allowed me to, you know, go out and shoot protests. And, you know, I, I sit in conversations with so many different people at the company that's trying to push diversity inside the company. I think more company needs to need to do that and be more verbal and not just do it once a year for Black History Month on just collaboration. Black History Month is every single day for us because we're black. But it, don't do it, you know, in a sense of, you know, for just Black Lives Matter. You have to continue that conversation, period, not just when 
you know, someone dies at the hands of police, you know, we are black every single day. And I think companies need to support that, not just once a year, once a year. Devin, could you tell us a little bit about what's next on your radar? What's the next big project that you're going to tackle? Um, right now, I'm currently working on a new book. Uh, so I'm working on a new book. Uh, the title is called No Justice, No Peace right now. You know, just looking back at a lot of my photography over the years, I've been documenting protests and um, in my community since the, uh, the passing of Mike Brown. So just a collection of photographs and essays from different activists that I look up to. Um, so working on that and, you know, just still continually to uh, build, um, working with Under Armour, we're launching um, uh, the, the proceeds from Under Armour are going to Y Angle Youth Media, um, which is a nonprofit in Baltimore City that teaches inner city kids photography and media. So we're going to be launching um, a workshop next month um, where we're buying cameras for the kids. And I'm going to actually go on and then mentor these kids um, via Zoom, you know, um, to get them into photography and things like that um, with the help of Under Armour. 